Welcome to another Glow Shift Gauges installation video. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. Start by disconnecting the negative cables from both batteries. After you disconnect the cables, remove the plug from the intake manifold. Next, wrap Teflon tape around the sensor thread of the boost fitting. Thread and hand tighten the boost fitting into the intake manifold. Then use a 7 16 wrench to finish tightening the fitting. Take the boost line, connect it to the boost fitting, and tighten using a 3 8 wrench. Use zip ties to route and secure the boost line. Use a center punch to mark the drilling location on the exhaust manifold. Then, starting with a 1 8 drill bit, drill a hole into the marked location, gradually working your way up to size R. The reason we recommend installing the EGT probe to the pre-turbo location of the exhaust manifold is because this particular location will give you the most accurate temperature readings. Using other mounting locations can cause the readings to be significantly off. Once you have drilled all the way up to size R, use a vacuum and pen magnet to remove the metal shavings from inside your exhaust manifold. Once the shavings are removed, use GlowShift's drill and tap kit to slowly tap the hole to 1 8 27 MPT. After you finish tapping the hole, Use the vacuum and pen magnet to remove the excess shavings. Apply anti-seize on the exhaust probe fitting. 
and thread and tighten the fitting into the manifold. Finish tightening with a 12 millimeter wrench. After the fitting is installed into the manifold, insert the EGT probe and tighten it into the fitting. Route the EGT probe sensor wires and secure using zip ties. You can remove the intercooler piping to make a clear path to the injection pump. However, this is not required. Next, remove the banjo bolt from the feed line on the injection pump. Use thread sealer on the snubber valve thread. Then thread the snubber valve into the banjo bolt and tighten. Now take the sensor and thread and tighten it into the snubber valve. Next, take the banjo bolt assembly and install it into the injection pump and tighten. After you tighten the banjo bolt, plug the sensor harness into the pressure sensor. Route and secure the pressure sensor harness with zip ties. Raise your dodge if possible. This is not required. However, this will make the installation process easier. Remove the test port plug from the transmission. Wrap Teflon tape around the sensor threads to ensure a leak-free connection. Take the test port extender and thread the sensor into it. Use a 14 mm and a 17 mm wrench to tighten. Next, Take Teflon tape and wrap the male end of the test port extender. Thread the sensor into the test port of the transmission and tighten with a 17 millimeter wrench. Crimp the included connectors onto the signal and ground wires.
Take the signal and ground wires and connect them to the sensor. Route the wires so they're out of reach of moving parts and secure with zip ties. If raised, you can now lower the truck. Drill a hole through the firewall into the cab of the truck if a hole does not already exist. Install a rubber grommet in the hole to ensure the sensor wires are not sliced or cut on the firewall. Route the sensor wires through the firewall. Make sure the wires are not kinked or pinched. Next, remove the driver's side factory A-pillar. Take the pillar pod and place it over the factory A-pillar and screw it into place. Use the included caps to cover up the screws. Drill holes for routing the wiring. Then, test fit the pod to ensure it fits. Wrap Teflon tape onto the fitting on your boost gauge.
Insert the boost, EGT, and transmission temperature gauges into the pillar pod. Crimp and wire the gauge kit together. Start by connecting all of the red wires together. Then do the same with all of the yellow, orange, and black wires. All of the colored wires are wired together. Use a zip tie to secure them together. Hide the wires behind the pillar pod with the wires leading out the bottom. We recommend removing the dash panel to ensure the cleanest possible install. Route the boost line and wiring through the firewall and into the cab through the dash panel you removed. Connect the boost line and wiring to the back of the boost gauge using the included ferrule fittings. Then install the pillar pod back in place. For this install, we dismantled the dashboard for a cleaner install. This step is optional and not required.
Take and route the power and ground wires to the fuse box. Route and connect the EGT probe harness to the wiring harness. Route and connect the transmission temperature sensor harness to the wiring harness. Crimp the red and yellow wires to the expandable circuit. Ground out the black and brown wire. To ensure a solid connection, we recommend sanding down the grounding location to remove any rust or paint. Remove fuse 7 and 18 from the fuse panel. Insert fuse 7 into the expandable circuit attached to the red wire. This is the switched 12 volt source that will power your gauges on and off. Insert fuse 18 into the expandable circuit attached to the yellow wire. This is the constant 12 volt source that will recall the previous color your gauge was on before powering down. Then insert the red wire into empty slot 7 and the yellow wire circuit into slot 18. Now you can reconnect the fuse box door. Splice the orange wire and connect it to the black wire with the yellow strip. This will connect the back of the headlight switch to enable the dimmer function that will lower the brightness of your gauges by 30% for easier viewing when driving at night. If you dismantled your dashboard, reassemble the pieces back together. Route the sensor and power harness to the glow shift swivel dashboard pod. Wipe the dashboard pod with an alcohol prep pad and allow it to dry. Secure the dashboard pod to the steering column using the included double-sided tape. Yeah. 
Then connect the sensor and power harness to the fuel pressure gauge and insert the gauge into the dash pod. Return to the engine bay and replace the intercooler piping if it was removed. Reconnect both negative battery cables to each battery. Power the truck on to see if the gauges are functioning properly and be sure to check for any leaks or loose sensor connections. You have now successfully installed your 94 to 97 Dodge Ram Glow Shift gauges package into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAGE and we'll see you on the road.